The highlights after the four hours of Spa Francorchamps, beginning with a treacherous track in places. Dry, yes, on the racing line, but very tricky to judge if you needed to head off, uh, whether you're lapping or overtaking. And this, a clumsy manoeuvre for Horst Felbermeyer Jr., tagging the back heavily of Morris Smith to put the championship leaders at the time, car 17, out of the race. Morris Smith did an incredibly good job to get the car home safely. Couldn't even stop it in time in pit road, and the team needed to push it back on the hijacks. Meantime, Conrad Grunewald using surely one of his nine lives here. How close was that as Sarah Bovey slipped by to his right? Oh, so many inches between the noses of those two Ferrari 488s at the top of Radion. Neither of these two LMP2s would make the corner at Le Combe corner as Habsburg attempted a manoeuvre on Duncan Tappy and Ferdi having to take to the escape route. Tappy also uh, the more traditional route through the tyre bales, but it cost both of them time and Ferdinand Habsburg will give the place back again. Christian Reed somehow avoided a spinning Pierre Eret in the Rinaldi racing Ferrari. And this was a moment for the race lead between Fabio Scherer and Nicolas Lapierre at Le Fagne corner. Scherer running a bit too deep into the corner and forcing Lapierre off into the gravel. He would have another stab at it, though. The Frenchman on the Swiss to his inside. The Inter-Europol competition car just grazing the side of number 37. To the outside, now to the inside and he, uh, Lapierre was able to put the pedal to the metal a little earlier than Fabio Scherer. He got the necessary drive, therefore, to take the race lead at the time. Full course yellow out to tidy up the circuit. That provided another opportunity for one or two of the midfielders to make a stop. Lapierre around the outside of Phil Hansen, who had somehow taken the lead just prior to that, but this time into Turn 1, this was about a lap later. Lapierre not making the corner. It looked like an honest error from our perspective, and that run through the gravel would then subsequently cause a puncture, which would the wheel needed to be changed at the end of the very next lap. Phil Hansen snaking his way through the Le Com sequence of corners. A sideways moment, a half spin for David Heinemeyer Hansen. That would not derail the 43 cars run, though, to the podium. And by this point, um, in the 22 car, Phil Hansen giving up his drive to Tom Gamble, who did the closing couple of stints. A change of lead for the final time in GTE, and that was Mikkel Jensen, who'd whittled down the lead to Michel Gatting, his fellow Dane, and squeezed ahead at Le Com corner. A late error as well for car number nine on the almost final lap for Louis Delatraz. And this spin on the exit of the bus stop chicane for car 27 after contact with Philippe Cimodomo, which he was subsequently penalised for. Now into the closing stages, Alex Caparia just catching the grass in the number five RLR M, car, uh, RLR M Sport car and tagging the rear of an innocent James Littlejohn for Nielsen Racing. Uh, James would, though, hang on to a third-place finish in LMP3 behind DKR and behind into Europol competition. More debris to be collected from the Kemmel straight. That was the final four-course yellow that actually a lot of the LMP2 cars desperately wanted. It meant that their final pit stop would see them good to the finish. And a first win of the year for United Order Sports. Well done, Duncan Tappy, Phil Hansen, and their third driver, Tom Gamble. A do-or-die manoeuvre late in the, in the day for Louis Delatraz to try and make the overtake on, Philippe, uh, on Pietro Fittipaldi, I should say. Had he got by, that would have been the title today. But they're going to have to wait three weeks now to potentially mop everything up at Portimao. A, a class win for LMP3 and Guilherme Oliveira. And here was the moment where Will Stevens got just sufficiently ahead of the silver metallic car. Yeah, there it is, Will Stevens, 42,000 of a second ahead of Alessio Rivera to take the title. Unbelievable stuff. 57 Ferrari, a first win of the year for Kessel. And there is confirmation that United Order Sports, Phil Hansen, Duncan Tappy and Tom Gamble win from the trio in car 43. Uh, David Heinemeyer Hansen, Pietro Fittipaldi and Fabio Scherer. Third position going to the championship leaders and almost champions. They need a couple more points to secure it in Portimao. Well done to Louis Delatraz and to Ferdinand Habsburg together with Juan Manuel Correa with his first race of his season in 
LMS, a podium straight away. Pro-Am is won by Racing Team Turkey by an absolute nose. 42 thousandths of a second after four hours. Will Stevens getting Rivera at the line. AF Corsa having to settle for second place. Algarve Pro Racing finishing third. LMP3 won by Inter Europol and Kessel win GTE.